welcome back to another thrift video i'm gonna show you guys the amazing things that i found on this trip that i didn't purchase you guys like this beautiful love sign you guys know this is from hobby lobby it was only four dollars i should have picked it up they had this beautiful heavy wooden sleigh as well and you guys look at this huge believe sign this is also from hobby lobby they had it for five dollars it was outside in the yard area i considered bringing it home but i decided to leave it but i think it's a beautiful sign they had this handsaw for four dollars i really like the shape of it and you guys look at this beautiful coke tin container oh my gosh this is so nice they had so many great things outside in the yard they also had these beautiful cabinets look at the trees in the back did you guys see those red trees i didn't even pay attention to them when i saw them there i also found this beautiful soup tureen it was missing the spoon but it was only a dollar fifty and i've been considering buying some of these i see them often at the thrift store and that one was just in a really nice shape i really liked it and you guys look at this beautiful container oh my gosh this was really nice as well I didn't bring it home though but i thought it was really beautiful and it was only two dollars it was the only one there i often see a lot of gravy boats this one was a dollar fifty i think i have like three of them so i'm pretty set on them unless i really want to start collecting them but i haven't really found any others that i like you guys look what i found a little gingerbread and you guys know this is from hobby lobby too and it still has the tag on him it's two dollars we're gonna put this one in the cart for sure let's see if we can find the girl you guys i've seen this mug a couple of times i don't know if this is like an older mug i think it says 1996 on the bottom but i thought it was really nice they had a lot of cute mugs on this visit i've seen these beautiful christmas plates at the di before and i've been very tempted to buy them i should have probably picked them up this day they had the whole little collection you can see right here the little salad plate the dinner plate the bowls everything was here and you guys look at this mug i don't know if this is mrs claus or a gnome and they also had this one they had so many unique ones they had so many christmas items i'm very excited for christmas in july i'm gonna bring you guys along and go thrifting finding christmas decorations like this little antique santa on the train he looks really antique he was broken on the top so i decided to leave him but i thought he was really cute and you guys look here's the girl gingerbread oh my gosh so cute she's also two dollars oh no but she's missing her eye I'm going to add her to my cart because she's so cute. Oh my gosh, look at these two together. And they had so many beautiful dishes on this visit too. Look at this whole collection that somebody dropped off. I don't know what brand that is, but all of the plates were really nice. The only reason I didn't buy them was because I don't really decorate much with yellow. Maybe for Easter it would be nice, but I don't know. It's not something that... I would really decorate with so i left it behind but i think they're beautiful i'm sure someone that really loves them is gonna find them they also had this beautiful collection here look at how nice this one is too with the little flowers oh my gosh i think i should have bought this one now that i'm playing back the video look how nice it looks the whole collection was here too the little creamer and um sugar set so nice i should have probably picked some of these saucers up they're so nice they had so many nice dishes like this one too with the little flowers on it they only had one mug but for 75 cents something that i do want to start doing you guys and i always forget is just to buy like random ones like little cups and saucers just to have like a little different collection and you guys i had these in my cart as well they only had three of them so i only picked up two and i ended up leaving them at the end i just couldn't figure out if i would really use them for fall i also found this out in the yard and you guys look how beautiful this merry christmas tin is it's nice and clean from the inside for a dollar fifty i couldn't find the price for this 
and you guys look at this beautiful i think this is actually like an older um an older ghost just because of the box but he was five dollars a little bit pricey so i left him behind and the little pumpkins are a bright orange it looked very new i did put it back in the box so somebody can purchase it five dollars and you guys look at these beautiful large spoons i've always wanted to buy some but i just haven't came across the right ones when i was growing up my mom had some um hanging in the dining room area i wish she still had those but i don't think she does anymore they had this beautiful wooden sign this was really heavy but it was a little pricey for 25 dollars i can see why all of that detail in the wood it was really beautiful and they had this nine foot garland i was very tempted to buy this one too for three dollars look how nice this is and you guys look at this little santa tin this is just too cute it does look a little bit older too for 75 cents they also had this one that you can use for fall time it just says pumpkin spice and you guys look how cute this little recipe box is for a dollar so cute they had this ghost little pail for a one dollar as well I thought it was really cute, the black and the white. You guys, I st <laughs> stood there looking at these plates, trying to decide if I wanted them. I left them behind, and when I went back to the aisle, they were gone, you guys. Things fly at the DI, so if you like it, put it in your cart, because it will be gone. <laughs> you can decide later, but I should have brought this home, honestly. It would have looked really nice with my Valentine's decor. And look how cute the little pitcher looks in the bowl. Oh my gosh. Look at how cute this is. Even the big platter. It's so nice. I should have bought it. Every time that I've gone to the thrift store, I have been looking for different tins. I want to have like a small collection when Christmas comes around. Um, I found two Christmas ones that I'm really excited to show you guys. But I also found this one. And I thought that this one would go great with my patriotic decor. It's a Cracker Jack one. You can see right there what does it even say it says pass around your cracker jack this is so beautiful you guys look at the little boy and the little dog the little fish oh my gosh the colors on this is just beautiful and then there's a guy on this side it says ball players and then on this side there's like a mom with her child eating Cracker Jacks. The more you eat, the more you want. I used to love eating Cracker Jacks, you guys. And when I saw this, I was um, thinking to myself that if they still sell the little Cracker Jack boxes, because I think it would be so nice to have some with my patriotic decor. So I'm gonna see next time I go to the grocery store to Smith's to see if they have any. I think a while ago I had seen them, but I don't know I don't pay attention too much in like the cookie aisle so I'm gonna have to go and see if I can figure it out but on the bottom it just says this it says limited edition Cracker Jack third in series but I just thought this was so nice they had this in the collectibles and they had this with um, a sold sign already but when I got there it was like 10 minutes to close and I'm like running inside and I asked the guy, I'm like, hey, did somebody buy that already? And the tag on there said it was at one, I think 140. So he told me that nobody came back to pick it up. So he let me um, buy it. He gave me the little tag and I went to the front and purchased it. But I thought this was so cute, $7 for the tin. And I don't think that's a bad price for it. Um, the inside is like all clean in here. It's really nice i love this so much i'm gonna be displaying this in my um little curio cabinet that i bought but for seven dollars i got this cracker jack tin that i just love i love this little boy image it's so cute i also found this beautiful santa one i thought this one was so cute too this one was 75 cents and 
This one doesn't say anything on the bottom. It just has the price right there. But even the lid is really pretty. It just has Santa right there. I just love like all of the different Santas that are on here. Mm, they look kind of like older. Look at this one. And look at this one. Oh my gosh, they're all really nice. Especially this one with the kids. It's so beautiful. Oh, it has the little jingle horse here. And then the little, where did it go? <laughs> The jingle horse here. I don't know. I love everything that has a little horsey on it. So cute. I just love this little tin. For 75 cents, I couldn't leave this behind. And again, the inside is really clean in here too. I don't know what was in here, but I'm glad that I found it for 75 cents. I found these hearts. They were all taped up for $1. I don't know how many are in here. Probably like, I don't know, 12 of them, I'm guessing. I haven't counted them, but I thought they would be nice for Valentine's Day, like in a uh, cloche. I think they would really look cute or even just like this. I don't know. I really liked them a lot. And for a dollar, like I couldn't pass all of these up for a dollar. I was so surprised. I even went to the front and since it had the tape around it and it just had the dollar, I asked the guy, I'm like, hey, is this really a dollar? He's like, yep, it's a dollar. I was like, okay, I'll take it because usually they have like everything individually marked for a dollar so i was really excited about that but they're just little i don't know like tins i don't know if you bake stuff in here or what but i just think they're really nice for next valentine's um next year so i picked these up then you guys i picked up this snuffer right here oh my gosh you guys i have wanted one of these for so long i almost didn't bring them home because I didn't like he, that he was silver. I don't know. I wish he was like a gold. But then I was thinking to myself that I can just use that rub and buff on him. And he would look super cute. He has like the little stick handle. Um, wooden handle on this side. And then like his little face is just so cute. I don't know. I really liked him. He was $1. And for a dollar, like how can I pass him up? I've never seen these at the thrift store, so I was really excited to finally find one so I couldn't leave it behind. I thought it was so cute. Oh my gosh. This is gonna go great in my little curio cabinet because that's where I'm gonna put all of my Santa um, mugs and my little Santa collection that I have. So I'm gonna be um, using Rub and Buff Guys, on this. I have wanted one of these for the longest time. I almost ordered one off of Amazon but the one that I was gonna order was like a wider one. I think like a lot more straws fit in it. This was $1.50. I already washed it and everything, put my straws in here. But for $1.50, you guys, and it's the perfect size. Cause like when you buy the straws that come in the pack, like say at Hobby Lobby, I don't know how many come, maybe like 12 or 20 in a pack. But I feel like this is like the perfect size for them. It's like a little bit smaller than the ones I've seen. I almost, um, purchased a bigger one and I just think this one's the perfect size for me because like that I don't have this big old container and this is more for like decor anyways so I thought it was super cute. I have to pick this up to go with my little Cracker Jack container. I found this the same day that I found the Cracker Jack container so I picked it you up. You guys I found a little racer sled. I thought this was a, so cute. This cost me three dollars. You can see the tag right there. And it's just like the cutest thing. I'm thinking about probably hanging it from like a peg. I think it would look nice. I don't have any pegs, but I'm sure I'll come across one from now till Christmas. I'm gonna cross my fingers. But I would think I think it would look nice if I was to hang it like from a peg. Just like hanging on the wall, just like this. I don't know. I think it would be super cute. Don't you guys think that? And for three bucks, I couldn't leave it behind. It's like in perfect condition. It's the classic racer brand. I don't know. I really like it a lot. When I went over to Logan to the antique mall, I found this wooden box at the DI there and I couldn't leave it behind. I thought it was so beautiful. Somebody made this and I love it so much. It was $3 and it has like the divider here in the middle. I was thinking of using it for my utensils probably around fall time. I think it's really pretty. I love like the wood and like 
the knots or whatever these are called in the wood. I just think it's so beautiful. And you guys, I really didn't find anything when I went to the DI in Logan, when I went to the antique, um, the antique, what was it Sorry, called? when I went to the vintage market, I didn't find much there at the DI. I am gonna show you guys something big that I purchased probably in another video to come but I'm really excited for this little box. I just think it's so nice for $3. I'm gonna use it for full time. I've been searching for some baseballs for a while. I think that would look really nice with my patriotic decor. So when I've gone to the DI lately, I have been looking through the bins where they have like all of the um, rackets and gloves and stuff like that. I haven't had any luck, but today I did find this um baseball i know it's like tore up and stuff <laughs> but i think it's still nice it was only 50 cents so since it was the only one i have found i had to bring it because i also found <laughs> this old beaten up glove i thought it was so nice it's a wilson and the cutest thing it says i think it's an h it says hedrick and i don't know if maybe that's like their phone number I don't know. I don't know what those numbers mean, but I had to bring it home and it was only a dollar. I was searching um, to see if I could find any online and they were so expensive and I just really wanted for decor. So I think this is like a little kid's glove. It's kind of small um, and it's really beaten up and stuff. So I thought it would be great with this ball just like this. I don't know. I really like it. I'm going to put this in my little curio as well. For my patriotic decor let me know what you guys think what do you guys have bought this <laughs> beat up old little glove I think it's so cute so I'm gonna use this. I found this beautiful little copper container with the little I, I don't know are these like Moscow mules or are those only the big ones I don't know but <laughs> these little shot glasses I want to call them <laughs> I think they're so cute. Look how cute this is. And I do have some. I think I have them put away with my fall decor. But mine are a little bit different. And this cost me $2, you guys. $2. And they're all in great condition in the inside. It's not like I drink out of these anyways. So it doesn't really matter to me. Um, but they're in great condition, the inside and the outside. And then this little container is just the cutest for 2 bucks. I was so excited for this. Were you guys wondering if I picked up the gingerbread? <laughs> I did, you guys. I picked this guy up. Can you guys believe that I found him at the DI? And he still has the tag on him, you guys. Look at this. $14.99. You guys already know where he's from. His little price tag is on this side. $2. So as you guys saw, they did have the boy and the girl. But the girl was missing her eye. And then... I was going to take her anyways without <laughs> with her missing her eye. But when I got to the register Notice here on the bottom that on the girl, it was coming apart. So I decided to leave it. There's no way I could have fixed this. I thought maybe I could find like a little replacement eye and maybe sw um, swap out her eyes. But I ended up leaving her. She was only $2. You guys, I had actually purchased this little gingerbread a couple of years ago. And I ended up returning him because... I think I had bought in like another gingerbread couple and then I'm like, I don't really like this one as much as the other one. So I'm going to return this one. So I ended up returning it and I haven't bought it since then. But every year I see them, I'm like, oh, it's so cute. But then I always find something different that I like more and I don't end up getting it. So I finally got him for $2. I thought it was a great price. I don't know. I I don't know. I, I was thinking of just buying the girl at... Hobby Lobby when they go like at 50% off even though it's like seven bucks or who knows maybe more but this is Christmas 2020 you can see the, the tag right there Christmas 2020 it's crazy how they left the tag on him like they never took it off but I don't know I'm just I was so happy to see this guy at the thrift store he's so cute I came across these wooden pieces at the DI I don't know if they're like for plants or what they're used for, but I thought I could use them with my Christmas decor. I'm thinking about using like hanging them from the ceiling as swings for my gingerbread. So these were one dollar and they did have two of them. So I picked up both of them. 
the wood is really lightweight it's not like um real wood i don't know what this is made out of but it's really lightweight which i really like because i'm going to be hanging it from the ceiling and then it already comes with like this right here where you can hang it i'm gonna need to extend it i don't know if i'm gonna keep this on it or if i'm gonna switch it out for something else but i thought it would be cute like if i was to hang um, I'm not saying this one, but if I was to hang like some gingerbread or even my um, my posable elves, those cute ones, I thought it would be really cute if I was to sit them on here and like hang them from the ceiling. Wouldn't that be super cute? So I picked them up for a dollar. I was like, I'll just try it and see if it works. But this little guy is going to be so cute. Okay. I just have two things left which are my favorite <laughs> i found this beautiful container this was a dollar fifty it's a huge tin you guys i like the colors of it and that it says merry christmas if you look at the bottom it does say um it came with popcorn at some point but i think this is beautiful like the christmas colors and the plaid on here is just really nice so i was thinking with like this Santa container and if I find any others that it would be super cute if I had like a little small collection going but for a dollar fifty this one was 75 and look at the look look at the difference this thing is huge and I just love the colors I think they're so beautiful for a dollar fifty this is the last item and this is like another score it's a gem to me it's like a Oh, one of the best things I've ever found because I've been looking at the Coke items on KSL and everything is so expensive. Everywhere I go and see a Coke item, it's really pricey and I understand why they're, they're really collectible, but I found this beautiful tin, you guys. Can you guys believe I found this at the DI? I was so excited. There was a, a lady in front of me um, looking at like it was in the yard area so she was looking I think at the wreaths and I saw this as soon as I got to the yard area and I like <laughs> went kind of in front of her because she had like a big cart but she wasn't even looking at this but I knew that I wanted it so much because I had been looking like the night before on KSL for anything that was coke products so when I saw this I was like oh my gosh it was meant for me it was waiting for me you guys <laughs> so I got this this was five dollars I don't think this is an antique or old or anything like that I don't really know but um it's coke like it doesn't matter to me it's coca-cola um let me see I thought I had seen somewhere it had a year like 2012 it says so it's older for sure it's in great condition the inside is super clean and it just has these um tags back here so i don't know you guys i was so happy when i found this oh every time i see it i'm just like oh my gosh i love it so i'm gonna be using this with my patriotic decor as well and i think i'm gonna use it for christmas too I just think it's gonna go so well with both holidays. I just love this. Oh, this is like my favorite thing. Oh my gosh. As much as I love the skis, I really love this Coke um, tin as well. I was thinking of putting like a piece of wood, like, um, let me see if this will fit in it. No, it won't. Um, so something like this, but inside of the tin, and um decorating like with my mugs my santa mugs and stuff like that and then for fourth of july i was thinking of buying those um glass coke bottles so i can um display them with this i think that would be really cute as well but i'm really happy that i found this you guys and like i said this was waiting for me in the yard i was so happy and i don't know if i told you guys the price but it was five dollars so let me know what you guys think i'm so so happy with everything i bought it's like random stuff i feel like i always find something that's christmas i have christmas fall fourth of july and this is like oh valentine's and this one's like every day 
So I think I found almost every season here. <laughs> I'm just really happy with all of my finds at the thrift store for this week. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye besties.